Mr. I don't lose at nothing is back. Correction, Mr. Just Got Unbanned from Scamming is back. This time, he's selling NFTs. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, this is an obvious scam if you can just read the signs, but since Floyd can't read, I'm gonna explain it to you all by telling you the history of Floyd, Money Mayweather, and crypto. Our story starts in 2018 when Floyd Mayweather was banned for three years from promoting securities after scamming his fans with an ICO called Centratech. He was promoting tons of these ICO scams at the time, and he also narrowly avoided an ICO fraud lawsuit for the same thing under the defense that he wasn't actually influential enough to convince people to buy the scam. And now that it's 2022, his three-year securities ban is over and he's back to scamming again. He's currently being sued once again for his promotion of Ethereum Max alongside Kim Kardashian and also has gotten really into NFTs. And if you're in the NFT world and you're betting on me, you will never lose. But what I need you to do right now, go get May Reverse. That's my new NFT. I've been working on that for months. If I win, you win. Now, it's pretty obvious from these comments that Floyd has learned nothing after not reading the SEC settlement. So maybe that's why he tells us we can't lose by betting on him. So let's put that to the test with his last three NFT projects. I'm dropping my NFT tonight. FloydNFT.com, August 10th. Go get it right now. Matter of fact, don't even wait till August 10th. Get it now, my NFT, on a piece of my legacy, Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm not just in 30% or 40%, full 100%. I'm, behind you. I'm, I'm all the way in. Now, Floyd's world was indeed a huge success for Floyd Mayweather, who raked in $4.9 million. But what happened to his fans? Well, they're furious because the price of this NFT has collapsed over 90%, and they angrily responded in the comment section, you already have an NFT project. It's called At Real Floyd NFT. You released it last year and then stopped working on it immediately after. Have you been punched in the head so much you're forgetting these things now? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know it looks bad. Logan Paul may have rocked Floyd more than we care to believe, but there's more to this story. Board Bunny is another NFT scam that Floyd promoted. Anyone want to guess how that went? January 4th, Board Bunny will launch. Everybody stay tuned. Now, if you were dumb enough to stay tuned to this one, it dropped like a rock, 90% losses. And then, of course, you have the Board Bad Bunny project, which Floyd also promoted, which is like Board Bunny, but bad, badder, worse. The NFT world is on fire. Board Bunny, we killed the first one. Right now, we about to drop another Board Bunny, but it's Board Bad Bunny. First one was crazy. Now, this one, you got to check it out. All right, fine, Floyd. I'll check it out. And, uh... It went to zero. <laughs> but if you thought those were all the skeletons in Floyd's closet, you're wrong. Meta skeletons. I personally want to say thank you to the artists and the team over at Meta Skeletons. That's right. He wants to thank them for paying him to say this. And you guys, um, your investment is, uh, if we check the numbers on this, oh, gone, right? <laughs> This NFT, this NFT is worthless now. So to summarize Floyd Money Mayweather in a way his fans can understand, Floyd is 0-9 with an astonishing two lawsuits and one TKO from the SEC. And he wants you to bet on him. He wants to go one more round in the ring. He wants to get paid again. And it doesn't sound like a good idea to me. When it comes to legalized bank robbing, I'm the best. 